So coming along the Charlie Road, you will also come to the Bora Bora Wildlife Park, ecotourism, team building, camping, restaurant accommodation. There is a number there if you'd like to call it. As I ride into the African bush, this area not so long ago would have been thriving with an abundance of wildlife roaming freely on the African plains around me. Unfortunately, due to rural development, that is no longer the case and you are actually more likely to see goats, and cows and chickens uh, than antelope, giraffe or elephants. Fortunately, we have places like Bora Bora Wildlife Park where you can still see some of these animals roaming around freely within their natural environment. Riding along these rock, these old bush roads is truly an experience in itself. You get that feeling of complete freedom and tranquility with the wind in your hair and wilderness all around you. It truly is a small adventure within itself. Okay, so this is Silas, he's the game warden here and he's going to tell you a little bit about what you'll find when you come to Bora Bora Park. Yes, so welcome to Bora Bora. Bora Bora is a sanctuary and the main purpose of Bora Bora is conservation. In Bora Bora expect to find giraffes, Maasai, we have Maasai giraffes, we have common zebras, we have crocodiles, Nile crocodiles, we have leopard tortoises, we have peacocks, we have guinea fowls, wild boars, we have terrapins, we have Egyptian geese and we also have other wild birds and people can as well come and do bird watching because we have a dam and the dam has attracted over 40 species of birds and we have guides who are well versed with information concerning birds they can take you to bird watching. In addition to that we also have an indigenous forest where one can go for a nature walk and also you can have a rest because you have put seeds there, you can rest there you can learn more about trees there, you can learn more about the different types of monkeys because you have all the types of monkeys, the Angolan black, black and white colobus monkeys, yellow baboons, we have Sykes monkeys and as well as Vavit monkeys. Wow. Sasa Kuenda Ingia to Kuingia, how do we do how how would the customers will they walk about in Nagari or do they go with a car? No, Ukija Bora Bora it's a relaxation area. You yeah. just park your car and it's a, a, a guided tour. Just it's a guide. by foot. It's a guided so you walk tour around. By foot. And the normal tour will take you about one and a half hours to two hours. Wow. So every clan or every tourist who yeah. come to Bora Bora is always given a tour guide. Fantastic. Silas, thank you very much you for spending time with us. So what you can expect to see when you come to Bora Bora? Game reserve. Egyptian um, geese. Egyptian geese. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Amazing. Very gorgeous. The zebras. Very colourful. In Bora Bora, not only animals, but you can also sleep because you have okay. tents. You have tents as well, wow. Wow, amazing. Yes. So you can actually come camping here as well? Yes. And as and you can see, look. coming up with a campsite. So you can come for camping, the backpackers as well. Zebra having a piss? Yeah. <laughs> look at that. This is the stallion. You come close up to the zebras. Yes. Members of the horse family. There's, there's the stallion there. Crocodile Avenue. One male. There's another group, a couple. You don't join this ones. So this is the stallion zebra. Yeah. He does all the breeding. Yes. And then come and show you the crocodiles. We have five of them. So there you go. Five man-eating crocodiles. Yes. Don't step inside, otherwise you will be eaten. Fantastic. The top is the enclosure. So they have gone to sleep. 
Although you have the massive tortoises, but they are nocturnal. They're sleeping at the moment. So this is the Kipepo, Kipepio nature trail um, that you can also go on when you come to Bora Bora uh, Game Park. And look at that, some glamping tents. So you can camp here as well. Um, yeah, all set up for you if you want to spend a night in the wild with wild animals around you. Uh, it's not exactly safari, but it's a nice experience. Giraffe cafeteria, and this is a little lake where you'll find all kinds of different kinds of birds and also camping. And these, uh, this pond is full of tilapia, which I don't know if you'll be able to see, but you can I want to ask where can Makati corner how what you could well anyway could you want to ask corner okay so when you come here they will put some food in the water and you'll be able to see the tilapia and even feed them as well and you've got the camping all around the little lake so yeah absolutely fantastic so here at Bora Bora Park you've also got um, swings and entertainment for children, basically swings, sweet saws, so the kids can be occupied too. So here Silas is going to show us some tiny crocodiles. Oh my god, look at that. That is a baby crocodile. Yes, three weeks old. Three weeks old. He's not yes. going to bite you? Yeah, no. Look at that. No. Beautiful little creature, look at that. Yes. Crocodile on my hand. I can honestly say I've actually held a crocodile, a baby one at that, but it is a crocodile. How cute is that? Wow, amazing. I love it. Ah, Santa Santa. <laughs> Bora Bora Wildlife Sanctuary in Kuali County. What a lovely place. Well worth a day out. Uh, you want to take the kids out, show them a little bit of close up wildlife, look at crocodiles, zebras. Yeah, loads of different varieties of birds as well. If you want to go camping for the night and experience, you know, uh, a little bit of wildlife adventure, it's all there for you. Uh, so yeah, the Bora Bora Wildlife uh, Sanctuary in Kuala County. Well worth a day out. This is Chef's Travels. I'm Kevin Harrington. Thanks very much for watching. Hopefully, see you on the next one. Cheers.